wondered what the moon looks like close up? Using my telescope, I can see it a little bit better. Today we're going to read The Moon Book by Gail Gibbons. The Moon Book by Gail Gibbons. A star burns gases that give off heat and light. The sun is a star. A planet reflects sunlight and revolves around the sun. Earth is a planet. Our moon is the brightest and biggest light in our night sky. It outshines all the stars and planets, which appear as small points of light. Some planets have many moons. Earth has one. Our moon looks big and bright because it is so close to Earth compared to the faraway stars and planets. It is about 238,900 miles or 384,000 kilometers away. Earth is about 8,000 miles in diameter and about 25,000 miles around. The moon is about 2,000 miles in diameter and about 6,800 miles around. The moon makes no light of its own to shine. It is bright in the night sky because it reflects the sun's light. It is about one-fourth the size of Earth. It is made up of rock and dust. There is no air or sign of life. Astronomers study the planets, their moons, and the stars. An orbit is the path of one object around another. Most scientists and astronomers think our moon formed about 4.5 billion years ago. Some believe something collided with Earth that tossed out a cloud of rock and debris. While orbiting around Earth, the rock and debris came together to form the moon. In ancient times, people thought the moon was a powerful god or goddess. The Romans called their moon goddess Diana. In Greece, the moon goddess was Selene, who rode through the sky in a silver chariot. Some American Indian tribes believed the moon and the sun were brother and sister gods. Stories and legends were told about the shapes and shadows that show on the moon's surface. Some people said the moon showed a man's face, the man in the moon, who was imprisoned there for stealing. Others told of moon demons living there. A satellite is an object orbiting around a larger one. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. It takes about one month for the moon to travel around the Earth. The moon makes one complete rotation for each complete trip around Earth. Thus, the same side of the moon is always facing Earth. The moon appears to change shape, but it doesn't. The different shapes we see are called phases of the moon. We are seeing different amounts of light being reflected off on the moon. How much light we see depends on the positions of Earth, moon, and sun. Phases of the moon. New moon. During the new moon, the moon is almost directly between the sun and Earth. The moon looks dark we see no reflected light. Crescent moon. The moon is waxing when the lit surface we see is getting bigger. In a few days, a bit of the sunlight side of the moon shows. It forms a crescent. First quarter moon. When the moon is a quarter of its way around Earth, it is in its first quarter phase. We see it as half lit. It is sometimes called a half moon. Gibbous moon. When the moon is waxing between a first quarter and a new moon, it is called a gibbous moon. Full moon. About two weeks have passed since the new moon. Now the entire face of the moon we see shines. Gibbous moon. The moon is waning when a lit surface we see is getting smaller. When the moon is waning between a full moon and a last quarter moon, it is a gibbous moon once again. Last quarter moon. When the moon is three quarters of its way around Earth, it is in its last quarter phase. Again, we see it as half lit. It is sometimes called a half moon. Crescent moon. 
Once again, we see a small sliver of the moon shining in the sky. New moon. It takes the moon about one month to go through its entire set of phases. People used to know the time of the month by watching the moon's phases. Solar Eclipse The moon's orbit around Earth is usually tilted slightly compared to Earth's orbit around the sun. Because of this, the moon cannot exactly line up between the sun and Earth. But when the moon's orbit is not tilted, and the moon lines up exactly between the sun and Earth, a solar eclipse occurs. The moon's shadow falls on Earth. A solar eclipse can last up to seven and one-half minutes. Warning! Never look directly at a solar eclipse. The sun's rays can hurt your eyes. A solar eclipse project. Here's how to make a sun projector to see a picture of the solar eclipse. Number one, poke a pinhole through the center of a heavy piece of paper that is a little bigger than this book. Number two, stand with your back to the sun. Hold the projector at your shoulder so sunlight shines through the hole. Number three, hold another piece of heavy paper in your other hand. This is your screen. Number four, move both papers until an image of the eclipse appears on the screen. Lunar Eclipse When the sun, earth, and moon are exactly lined up, a lunar eclipse happens. As in a solar eclipse, the moon's orbit is not tilted. The earth blocks off the sunlight that usually lights up the moon. The moon has a reddish glow. Lunar comes from luna, the Latin word for moon. A lunar eclipse can last up to three and one-half hours. The moon affects the oceans too. The moon's pull, called gravity, on the oceans is strong enough to cause tides. Tides are the daily rising and falling of the ocean's water. A high tide happens about every 13 hours. A low tide happens about every 13 hours. This is because the moon takes about 25 hours to come back to the same place in the sky it was the night before. Tide differences vary around the world. Some night sky gazers and astronomers can get a close-up view of the moon by looking through binoculars. Others look through telescopes. Some huge telescopes are used at observatories. A close-up view of the moon's surface shows dark patches astronomers call plains or seas. Other areas are covered with craters, mountains, and valleys. The moon's craters were formed between three and a half and four and a half billion years ago when meteors pounded its surface. For centuries, people have wanted to know more about our moon. In 1959, the Soviet spacecraft Lunar 3 transmitted to Earth the first pictures of the far side or back of the moon. There aren't as many dark areas on that side as the side we see from Earth. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy made a commitment to put Americans on the moon before the end of the decade. At first, many American unmanned spacecraft were sent. Pictures were taken. Then Surveyor 1 landed on the moon in 1966. It sent back information about the moon's surface. The first manned orbit of the moon was made by Apollo 8 astronauts in 1968. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin of the Apollo 11 mission became the first men to walk on the moon. There were five more Apollo landings on the moon. The last one, Apollo 17, was in 1972. The astronauts did experiments and gathered samples. Scientists and astronomers were able to learn more about the history and the nature of our moon. On a clear night when the moon is in the sky, gaze up at it. We are still learning more about our closest neighbor, the moon.